the bell rang, he ran across the ring and he landed a rock solid jab to set the tone for the evening. I was really, really, really impressed. Thank you, David. More from Richie and if you'll forgive me, Rich and Steve, in just a moment. We're going to have a word with Willie now. Ron McIntosh is back with us tonight. Welcome, Ron. Thank you very much indeed, Paul. Willie Hutchinson, congratulations, extending your unbeaten record with a very patient, composed performance. How do you rate the display you've just produced? Yeah, my bar box is all right. Uh, only give about seven or eight hours, ten, but I'm my own worst critic, so there you are. Just got to keep in the gym, keep training hard and keeping in the gym, staying fit and just keeping ready for every fight, you know? Well, you demonstrated from our perspective that you're ready for this one. Your full repertoire was on display, switch hitting, attacking to body and head very effectively. What more would you have liked to have seen from yourself tonight if it's only a 7 out of 10 performance in your eyes? Um, I don't really know, to be honest with you. I just always know I can do better. Um, I can, I'm listening, I'm getting better and better every fight. Like you said, that's my 10th fight. I'm just improving all the time. I just joined 21 in August. And I'm just trying to improve every fight, you know. But listen, 10 you know. Seven knockouts, come on, let's go. I'm ready for anyone in Britain now. And where do you see your future? You weighed in above the super middle, above light heavy tonight. Are you going to get down to 168, 12 stone, or are you going to campaign at light heavyweight? Where do you see your future? To be honest with you, I don't really know. Just leave it all down to the coach, Dominic Ingle, and just leave it down to him. And he thinks I can make 12, then we're doing 12. If he's keeping me at head light heavy, I'm more than happy. Listen, I'm weighing in, I'm healthy, I'm rehydrated. I'm ready to fight a light heavy, so you see the wait and see. Well, we look forward to it. Congratulations on extending your unbeaten barrack record tonight. Well done. And I'd like to thank everyone for coming out to watching me box, everyone back home watching me. And I'd like to thank all my sponsors, because without them, we wouldn't be where I am. And I want to thank my manager, my promoters, my coaches, my mum, dad, granny, granddad, everyone. Thank you. You get the picture. Thank you, Willie. Congratulations, my man. Thank you. Thank you. Now, Ron, we have to go back to you because he's left out one or two other people in London, <laughs> but only one or two. Richie, we have argued earlier today. I, I saw Willie at the weigh-in yesterday, and to me, he looks like a super middleweight, but he's a long, long way above that tonight. What weight should he be? I think he's a super middleweight. I think the height-wise... Height I think he'd be better to go down to super middle. If he can make super middle, you can see, you can still see he's a little bit fleshy, yeah. and the height would determine for me that he's a super middleweight. He's got fast reactions. He did a good job tonight because he, he just sensed that the guy wasn't in his class. And a boxer can only beat who put in front of him, and he did it, and he did it in style, and he did it how he should have done it. But I think they've got to make a decision, you see, whether to go at light heavy or super middle. I think his future is light heavy, and if it is, sorry, at super middle, and if it is a super middle, he's got to start getting down and getting used to his body making that 12 stone. 